Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now Helicon Text products are products that I've come to greatly enjoy. I use them for the most part in the outdoor camping, backpacking, and bushcraft scenarios. And well, even days like today just happen to be wearing them into the office and just enjoying good quality products. Tactical, yet practical at the same time. And today we're going to look at a bunch of products from the Urban and Range lineup. So usually I cover Helicon Text products on my Outer Limitless YouTube channel for that outdoor experience. But today on the Eric Outer channel, which is the firearms portion of my channel, well, the Urban and Range line is absolutely perfect. And here beside me, I have a number of products that we're going to take a first look, get a first impression, and then in the future, I'm going to do a full feature review on these. And so today the products we're going to cover well here these are the covert tactical pants both in versa stretch light and denim so more sort of like a jean material than more of the versa stretch which the versa stretch i do greatly enjoy so a couple different versions of the covert tactical pants here are the urban tactical pants so you can see here in the color coyote the range hoodie the Rogue hoodie, which this I am pretty pumped about. Nothing like a good hoodie coming into the fall season. The EDC Magnetic Belt. We're going to get some targets to the range. And well, after putting a bunch of rounds through my firearms, you have to clean them. So we're going to talk a little bit about Helicon Tech's cleaning supplies. So as I mentioned, a first look and first impression of these today, I'm going to try them on, talk about their fit. So I have tried on a ton of Helicon Tech's gear. And so at this point, I should be able to give you some reasonable recommendations on what to look for for sizing. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you are interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Helicon Tech who did provide these products for review. And so again, today on the Eric Outer portion of my channel, which is the firearms portion of my Outer Limitless YouTube channel, well, we're going to see how these apply in the urban environment and at the range. I'm hoping there's going to be a number of features in here that really play well with concealed carry, with the ability to dress comfortably and a little bit tactically when you're at the range, and a number of things that I think are going to work out pretty well. So with that said, let's get into it. So at this point, we do have three pairs of pants and two hoodies. Well, let's start with the hoodies because these I think are going to be pretty darn cool. Now, a number of different colors here so that you can kind of see. Now I've picked these strategically to go with some uh, Helicon Text gear that I already have. I do have a number of their different colorways and things that I think will mix and match and work out well for me in a number of different environments. But here, first, this is their range hoodie. So they are saying this is in the fabric called Top Cool. And if you haven't seen Helicon Tech's products in the past, they do have a number of different fabrics that are sort of their own proprietary. They have Dura Canvas, which is a nice heavy canvas material. In fact, that for the most part is what I have on my pants in the Bushcraft line. They have Versa Stretch, which is a nice lightweight stretchy material. Here they are calling this their Top Cool cool material so uh, looks to be breathable sort of like a lightweight mesh and again this is called the range hoodie now this is in a size large i am six foot one uh, right now i'm about 170 pounds now my weight does fluctuate greatly depending on time of year depending on my diet and what i'm trying to do i actually play with my weight quite a bit and right now just sort of slimming down a little bit so i'm around 170 pounds um, I am, again, six foot one. I have fairly long arms, and I find that they're large really suits me pretty well for my tops. So here, getting this on, well, let's see. You can see this is going to be a snug, tight, and contoured fit, which is what I'm going for at this particular time. I'm definitely looking for a little more of an athletic cut, and you can see being a large, that's going to be the case. No extra material pretty snug so if you're somebody who's a little bit larger maybe you have a larger chest or even if you had longer arms and my arms are actually pretty long 
Uh, you can see here that the sleeves are right about at the bare minimum of what I could ask for, but at the same time, nice and compact. So as I'm reaching out, you can see the cuffs do start to pull away just a bit. Could I have gotten away with an extra large? I probably could have, but at the same time, I know what I'm coming into. I know my body size and what I really want, and I kind of wanted that sort of tighter, more athletic fit. Now this range hoodie here, you can see this is a pass-through pocket. Definitely cool. This nice sort of black panel on the side. Now that is a little bit more like a nylon feel to me um, than the uh, sort of mesh here. So a little bit of a different feel. Morale patches on the shoulders here. Oftentimes on the inside, these are ventilated, which this is, which is awesome. So you can kind of open this up a little bit, get some ventilation, which is nice. Again, another field on this side. Some reinforced panels on the arms here, which looks like you may be able to put some elbow pads in there if you really were kneeling down a lot or scrambling on the ground. So you could definitely get some elbow pads in there, uh, reinforced, so definitely pretty cool. So you're gonna start to see this stuff in a little more use as I get out to the range. You should see this in a number of different scenarios, but this range hoodie, Definitely really cool. I like it. I like the fact that it's slimline, low profile, has an athletic cut, and definitely looks the part. Now looking closely, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a cross up because, and you need to be very careful with Helicon Tech's gear. Here, if you look up close, you will see that this is a European size large and a US men's medium. That's gonna be a problem. So I am a US large, and that would explain why this is so tight. Usually, the US large fits me a little bit better. So, lost in translation, unfortunately, with my order, but I'll see if I can correct this moving forward. And unfortunately, I think that's gonna be the case here for the Rogue hoodie. Uh, which is also a US medium and I am definitely not a medium so um, this is unfortunate I feel really bummed out about this because for a number of reasons my Helicon Tech's rep working real hard to make this happen um, sending it literally all the way from Poland um, I have a little bit of a story about the customs and how this all went down and just a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, the sleeves on this are gonna be a little bit on the short side. The fact that this is tight is not a problem, um, but the sleeves are definitely gonna be a bit of an issue. But here, this is the Rogue hoodie, which is also really cool. So when I saw this, and it's in black multicam, well, I knew this was right up my style because, well, I love black multicam. It is just totally my jam. And so to have this Rogue hoodie and the black multicam, definitely cool. Now, the sleeves on this, just a touch longer. This kind of works. It feels a little bit small to me, but at the same time, not too bad. Very similar where you end up with these sort of uh, pockets up here. These ones are not ventilated but definitely works. You get the morale patches on the shoulders. This one not having the reinforcement and nice pockets in the front here. Now you end up with a couple of zippers here. So little pockets here, no problem. Very cool, nice little patch, definitely comfortable. Looking at the inside here, there is some mesh. So these mesh pockets now, usually they do it so that this would breathe and it doesn't necessarily appear to be. So to me, it's a little funny sometimes when they put the mesh there, yet at the same time, it's not really breathable. Uh, but hey, to each their own, this is actually very nice, soft on the inside, and this is gonna be good and comfortable. Now it does have a mix between sort of some of the stiffer, sort of like, I don't know if that's polyester, but it probably is. If I had to guess, this is like a rip stop style polyester. Um, and overall, very nice. I mean, a couple of different fabrics here. Good look. Putting the hood on real quick. I'm actually going to pull this over the top. 
pretty form fit for the most part. I can get some good vision out of my peripherals. So here, the Rogue hoodie, definitely sweet. But again, a little bit small for me. Now again, this is a medium and you can see here, now US medium, European large. Um, the sleeves are a little short for me. You can see they're tugging and pulling just a little bit. If this was one size bigger, it would probably fit me a little bit better. The body's not too bad. It just starts to get a little bit tough on the sleeves. So again, if this was a US large, I think it would work a little better for me at six foot one being fairly tall and having reasonably long arms. Now these here are the Urban Tactical Pants. These are a blend of, I would say, sort of like a ripstop, uh, almost like a ripstop nylon material. I'm not sure exactly what it is. They say here that it is a Nyko ripstop. I'm not sure exactly what that means. And then there's also some Versa Stretch panels in strategic locations just to help with a little bit of flex. And the Versa Stretch definitely doing a nice job. Now these here in the Coyote. And uh, in terms of the size, now this is a little easier to make sure you get it right because not only are these considered a European medium long, but that equates to a US 32 waist by 34 length, which 32, 34, I generally wear and these fitting just about perfect. Now these might be slightly for me on the long side. Could I have got away with a medium regular for these? Probably. So I would say these do look as though they run a little bit long. If you look at the bottom here, how they bunch up, I could probably have gotten away with more of that sort of medium regular. The waist is absolutely perfect. And the nice thing I like about Helicon Tex, a lot of times they do leverage a Velcro. So that working out well where you can kind of like fine tune this and you get a little bit of flex and give. And then on many of their pants, they have elastic. So here, just a little elasticized waistband in the back. That's working out pretty well. Now, these are generally fairly light. They're not a heavy duty pant. At the same time, just a little bit light, which is going to be nice. They kind of breathe. They feel good. They're not going to be a real heavy, thick material like some of the other pants. For example, these are the Pilgrim pants that I've been wearing. Very thick. The Dura Canvas is a good, hardy material. Nice and thick, but at the same time, a little bit warm, a little bit heavy. That's definitely not the case here with these light urban tactical pants. I mean, very lightweight and these just feel really good. So generally speaking, I am very happy with these. I think these are going to work out very well. The urban tactical flex pants. So urban tactical pants, the flex model, very nice. Overall, good pocket layout. As always, Helicon Tech's doing a fantastic job with their pockets, just nicely laid out and really giving me a little flexibility from that sort of tactical perspective. Some magazine pockets. We'll see how that works out. Oftentimes up in the back here, yep, another little magazine pocket. So yeah, these are going to be nice. So I expect you'll see these quite a bit in the range environment. But with that said, let's move on. Now these here are the Covert Tactical Pants in the color black. They are made of the Versa Stretch light material. This is literally completely stretchy material, extremely, extremely lightweight. I can only imagine that just literally like the breeze is gonna blow right through these. They are actually very, very lightweight, but you can also see a little more slim lined. Now these are gonna be, um, I would say for me, hard to say exactly where I will be using these. They're a little bit tactical in the sense that you end up with some sort of magazine pockets here, a couple of nice pockets in the front, uh, a little bit ventilated actually. You can see there's some mesh on the inside, um, but where do these fall? These kind of remind me of golf pants, to be honest with you. Like if I was out doing something slightly athletic, uh, but wanted to look sort of classy, um, maybe you'd be wearing these just to kind of, uh, I mean, you could wear these to go out to dinner and look pretty good, to be honest with you. I could probably get away with wearing these to the office, no problem. And in fact, they would look better if I wasn't wearing boots. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these are very tight. I mean, you can see 
you know, all the way up sort of into the crotch. Not a lot of extra material. It's not like they're skin tight. It's not like they're like super tight. They're just really slim line, fairly form fit. And again, for me, the size 32, 34, there's a lot less material. So these are a little tighter around the waist for me. These I definitely need the, uh, you know, the medium long. I could not get away with really a smaller size here. So quite tight, uh, definitely interesting. Is it my typical style? Um, probably not, but uh, for me, I think these will work out. I'm definitely gonna give them a try. I'll see where they fit in my lineup and how I really apply these to my different uh, sort of wardrobe aspects, uh, but definitely cool. So again, these are the Covert Tactical Pants in the Versa Stretch Light Material. Now these here, the covert tactical pants in denim. My wife is probably gonna love these. Uh, for me personally, I don't know. I, I do not like tight pants. And these to me are just too tight for my liking. Uh, they're definitely very slim. Uh, for me in jeans, I like a little bit more give. Uh, you know, I don't mind something that's kind of like relaxed fit but i definitely don't like tight i don't want baggy i just want something that fits comfortably and to me this is just way way too tight for my liking so again these are in a 32 34 which is a european medium long i would say in terms of the fit they're actually about right the length is right and the waist is right and again leveraging the velcro which is definitely a good thing but this is just really, for me, not my style. And when you say covert tactical, the idea being that these kind of blend in to sort of that typical urban environment. You do end up with a couple of magazine pockets, but where these are so tight, they're gonna be printing like crazy. And in fact, pulling one out, if I was gonna carry this in here, I mean, can you tell? Hard to say. Um, in terms of actually carrying a firearm, I mean, once I start trying to conceal carry, this is going to start to get kind of tight, a little bit crazy, but I guess you can do it. So we'll see. Again, uh, just kind of feeling my way through this a little bit. We'll see how this goes. But generally speaking, these covert tactical pants here in denim, uh, are they going to be for me? I don't know, but you know what? There's only one way to figure it out, and that's to try. And so here, this is the EDC magnetic belt. So size medium, which again should fit roughly a 32 to 34 inch waist. You'll see here just a little magnetic enclosure fitting on pretty much like that. So let's do that again. There you go. Just clipping on right like that. And then... Cinching this down. Is this going to be suitable for concealed carry? Hard to say. Um, but at the same time, just a very straightforward and simple belt. Uh, could you... I mean, it came with this little loop. If you didn't like this sort of extra here, leave this little loop on here. Probably. I might actually do that and just fashion this little velcro loop there to help me out so yeah generally speaking very straightforward simple quick i don't think that's going to come undone and actually this webbing is stuffed on here real tight so it does take a little bit to cinch it up but at this point you know pants are i don't know very european and i don't know just not my style look how tight these pockets are I'm not sure these are really going to work for me, but this is not at all my style. I actually feel a little funny. But at the same time, that is the EDC Magnetic Belt. Now next, I bet you didn't realize that Helicon Tex actually has a whole bunch of different targets. So this is roughly a 20 by 26 target. They have a number of different targets. Uh, this one here specifically for pistol. They have them for rifle. They have some more like steel targets. 
really cool. So um, I will be using these at the range. And in fact, when you look at the bottom here, it does have some exercises, things that you can do, different sort of practice regiments, which is really neat. So I'll probably do a video on these alone, just literally going through the instructions on the bottom, uh, doing their different sort of tests. And, um, you know, it's got uh, warm up and I don't know, all kinds of different cool little things. So I thought that was pretty neat. And thank you to Helicon Techs for sending these along. This will be a fun one. And again, last but not least, cleaning supplies. You probably don't even realize that Helicon Techs has a full suite of cleaning products. Now, I do need to premise this by saying some of these are currently available in the United States. Some of them really only in Europe. Um, I found out the hard way because, well, I had the full cleaning suite picked out. And again, thank you very much to the representatives at Helicon Techs who attempted to send those products to me, uh, but they got confiscated and unfortunately turned around in customs and they said they could not ship. So everything from uh, good CLP uh, to dedicated degreasers, dedicated lubricants, um, a whole bunch of greases, quick clean wipes, and then the brushes. So a few of these products did make it to me just because of the sample size. Uh, but unfortunately at this point, I don't have the full cleaning suite. Now I am working on trying to obtain those. Uh, I'm looking locally to see what I can get. Some of the products seem like they may be available in the US, but maybe not all of them. So I will be using these in some way, shape, or form. We'll try to cover these to the best of our ability. I was hoping to really be able to do it with the full suite of Helicon Tech's firearms cleaning products. That might not be the case, but generally speaking, I was pretty impressed at what I saw. It's just a matter of using these, see how they perform, and to see what kind of, I would say, compatibility you might have with your firearms, depending on the types of cleaners, solvents, lubricants, and the different applications. So overall, very cool. Um, this particular kit here, chambered in nine specifically for nine millimeter, which is great. So again, thank you very much to the people at Helicon Techs, and I do greatly appreciate you trying to get these to me. And so all in all, what do I think? Well, I mean, the hoodies, fantastic. I love Helicon Techs outerwear. I think these hoodies are gonna be great. Um, unfortunately, a little bit of a miss for me in terms of the size. Um, I'm just going to reach out to them. I'll see if there's something I can do about that. Not too sure. Um, but either way, definitely cool. And I will probably try to wear these in a review, um, full-fledged review for these, with the caveat being they're just not quite the right size. They're definitely too small. Uh, in terms of the pants, I mean, I definitely like these Urban Tactical pants. Um, I think these are going to be great. I love the material. I like how they feel. I like the color, the fit, the quality. Everything's there. These are exactly what I'm looking for. Now, in terms of the Covert pants, not so much my style. Um, I really kind of need to figure out where these will work for me. Um, I actually might wear these working out, to be honest with you. They would be almost perfect for that. Um, lightweight, good material, stretchy, breathable. Um, they, they look a little bit maybe classy to be working out in them, but who knows? So that's what I'm thinking possibly for these. And then the jeans. <sighs> My wife, I can tell you, is going to love these on me which is why I know I'm not going to like them because anytime she loves the way jeans look on me, I can't stand them. Um, they're just, they're, they're tight. Uh, I feel like I'm wearing literally completely form fit pants. I mean, they're just, they're, they're so not my style. I mean, I literally need to like pull them off of my thighs and I have like not huge legs. I mean, my legs are like barely large. Um, if you were a bigger guy or more muscular, I could see these definitely being way too tight. So, um, eh, it's hard to say, I guess we'll give these tactical pants a try. Um, but the, you know, the covert tactical pants, just not quite my style, but the firearms cleaning kits and the range supplies, definitely cool. And all in all, I mean, style aside, there's no doubt that Helicon Tech's products are extremely high quality. They're very nicely made. They're very affordable, perfect price range, in my opinion. A huge amount of products, too, and everything from all their different lines, from the Urban to the Range 
to getting into bushcraft and outback and all their different lineups. Absolutely fantastic. Even some medical supplies. So Helicon Techs has a nice suite of products. So if you're not familiar with Helicon Techs products, do me a favor, take a look at their website, go through all their products. If you don't necessarily like what you see here, they definitely have more than enough for you. I can say I greatly appreciate what they've provided to me. Not only this time, but in the past, um, I do greatly enjoy their products. They're fantastic, and I think you'll find that you like them too. And so if you like this content and you're interested in seeing some other Helicon Text products that I've reviewed in the past, do me a favor, go to my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. That is my primary channel where I cover everything from hiking, camping, backpacking, outdoor excursions, backpacks, tents, shelter systems, everything from flashlights, EDC, tactical, knives, axes, you name it. That's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.